This is my ISR 2018-2019 Semester 1 video final. So, every passion can be traced back to one defining moment, one origin story that started the whole thing. For me, that would definitely be the fourth grade science fair, where I decided I wanted to make a star in a bottle. Not a model star, mind you, a fully functioning, performing nuclear fusion at over 100,000 Kelvin star. <laughs> so, at first, everyone just laughed at me and called me adorable, but I wasn't okay with that. I wanted to be right, not adorable. I wanted to have a star. So I did a ton of research, and eventually I figured out that yes, they were right. I could not make a model star, but that kind of was the kickoff of my curiosity. After that, I fell in love with astronomy. I spent every night looking up at the night sky outside my house. And eventually I moved into astrophysics and fell in love with dark matter and dark energy and black holes and relativity. Um, in seventh grade, I decided I was going to write a paper on dark matter and dark energy. But the more and more I did research into it, the more I saw I needed to know physics first. In particular, quantum physics. And well, I never learned enough quantum physics. I'm still doing that and I've fallen in love with that area. So, for the past few years leading up to me coming to HBA, I was studying quantum physics like crazy. I would beg to learn more math, and I would spend every free second I had doing research, watching videos. So, when I first got to ISR, I continued my research and was actually able to start applying mathematics to quantum physics and really understanding what I was talking about. Near the end of the year, I was joking around with Dr. Bill saying that I wanted to build a neutrino detector. Well, of course I was just being sarcastic, but he took the idea seriously, and he was like, oh, well, that might be a little too expensive, but you know, you could always build a muon detector. And at first, I thought he was joking, because quantum physics is so far out there, I never thought I was going to be able to actually do research into the field until I was getting my doctorate. But Turns out that it's very possible to build a muon detector, and I instantly latched onto the idea. So this semester, I was really starting to bring that idea to light. And so the first step was actually learning the physics, which thankfully, I already knew most of the physics I needed to know. I knew that muons had a slightly negative charge and that they had a spin of one third. I also learned that muons come from cosmic rays that decay when they hit our atmosphere. And therefore, I could use the muon detector, detector <laughs> sorry, to measure muon fluctuation through different objects, such as volcanoes or mountains, and get x-ray images. The next step was to learn the computer science behind the detector. So I had to learn how to code Arduino, which was something I had never tried before. I had barely tried coding before, yet alone with an Arduino. And the final step, which is the step I'm still currently on, is learning the mechanics behind the muon detector. So I had to order the parts, I was able to get scintillators from some people at UH Hilo, and I ordered a silicon photomultiplier, and then I had to also order all the resistors and capacitors and, you know, all the other supplies I needed which I've done, and they're supposed to arrive over Christmas break, which is really exciting. And then the next part of learning the mechanics was learning the circuitry, which I was really lost on. I had no idea how to make a circuit board or how circuit boards really even worked. I'd only worked with them a couple of times. However, I met a man named Mr. Hinman, who is an electrical engineer consultant, and he taught me all about how circuitry boards work. He helped me find the Gerber files and design them to fit my needs. And then he's going to help me print them, hopefully sometime over Christmas break. So this would make the next steps in my project. When I get back from Christmas break, I will have all of my parts and hopefully the circuit board will be done being printed by that time. And then I will be heading over to UH Manoa sometime in late January, early February, as the science department has very generously agreed to to let me use their surface mount soldering equipment and to teach me how everything works so I can actually get to make the circuit board myself instead of just having to send it off to get constructed. Um, off to the side of the muon detector, 
I am known for having very many side projects that I am constantly working on, such as building radio antennas or fixing golf carts. Um, in terms of my future in ISR, I really ended up liking computer science, more than I thought I was going to, honestly. And I really want to continue learning um, Unix and Python, which I've actually really been enjoying learning, as well as just basic mechanics, continue to take things apart, really break in my iFixit toolkit. And then I also heard back from Keck a week ago and learned that I got the student internship position, which I will start the second I get back in the data analysis and reduction area, which I'm super excited for. Another chance for me to really apply what I've been studying for years. So that's been my semester one of ISR in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed.